Today we're looking at the freaking GoTrax G4 scooter. I got quite the amount of reviews to get through this week. All right. I still have seven, eight, including the GoTrax reviews to do. So here is the GoTrax G4 electric scooter. This is an adult scooter on the cheaper end. It's $650 as it sits currently. Um, prices change obviously after I do these videos, but this is the GoTrax folding adult scooter, 350 watt motor, 36 volt, 10.5 amp hour battery pack. They say it does 20 miles per hour and I don't know what the range is, but range on scooters doesn't make as much of a difference as range on electric bikes because these are more for pleasure, bikes are more for commuting. So let's just get this thing out of the box and see how it does. We have handlebars and then this is probably the charger, small bit, little baby charger here. The thing I like about e-scooters is they're so easy to put together. You kind of just clip them together and that's that. And they're nice and light, so you could just pull them right out of the box. So we got ourselves a scooter, got ourselves a stop sign. <laughs> Do not return this product to the store. <laughs> Please read the follow along important information. Nice typo, the follow along <laughs> for GoTrax customer support care. Don't send it back. We don't want this thing back. <laughs> but honestly, for $650, you know, packaged up and shipped to you. I wouldn't want it back either if I were them. <laughs> and I think I saw on the listing too, that it has like a smart lock, like an actual physical cable, like a bike lock built into it. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I have no idea how it works, but maybe it's zero, zero, zero. Let's try that. Nah, but anyway, I'll figure out the code. Oh wait, never mind. So it just does this and you can like click it in. That's actually really cool. So if you need to like go somewhere and you need to change to something, I don't want to actually, actually I think that's it, zero, zero, zero. That's probably how it comes. Okay, would you be a doll and cut this with a sword please? There it is, I think that's everything. Except this, here is this, oh, that's right. I forgot to put the handlebars in, but um, you wanna get a nice shot of this? Oh yeah. Wait, what does it say? That's nice, okay. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, and then I'll just put it on a kickstand. Yeah, these tires, dude, look at that. They're like legit tires. It looked like there's probably tubes in them. A lot of other scooters have solid core tires. I don't know what these ones are, if they are or not, who knows? And it has this little clamping. This is the clasp mechanism for when you fold it. it latches into that red latch there. Interesting, I've never really seen these designs. It's like a carabiner. Never seen that before. And then it does say on the throttle, cruise control, press for 10 seconds. And I'm honestly just gonna take that off. Okay, that's much better. Just don't like stickers everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Makes me feel like I have a lower IQ than I actually do. And it's like such obvious stickers, like don't ride without a helmet. <laughs> Pretty sure I could take my own life in my own hands, thank you. <laughs> I can make my own decisions. Uh, has a bell, nice. That's a good bell right there. Inja approved bell. Let's start this thing up and see what it looks like. Oh no, it needs a code. Look at that. I'm just gonna go zero. Zero, zero. But yeah, anyway, so that's it. I mean, overall looks looks for $650. Is that the alarm? Is there an alarm going off? Like I'm trying to turn you off. Like stop giving me an alarm. It's not turning off. It's just like, oh, someone's trying to steal me. Someone's trying to steal the scooter. As much as I appreciate the security functions, a little bit confusing right when you get it out of the box and kind of obnoxious. If you forget your code or somebody tries, you know, wants to take your scooter somewhere and forgets the code on the road, like they're, it's gonna be beeping at them and stuff and they can't even turn it back off to just stop. The default password is 000, which we tried. Press the plus button to input zero. Power button to confirm. Repeat the whole process to put 000 and then press the power button twice to unlock. Thank you. Let's try it again. There we go, thank you. It goes into L1. Don't know what that means yet. I'm not even gonna worry about changing the code though. It says you can set your own code, press the negative button and power button for 10 seconds, and it goes into like a code program. I'm just gonna write it and figure it out. All right, there you guys have it. That's the G4 scooter. Easy enough to set up, easy enough to unbox. I do appreciate the security features 
of it just so no one can just turn it on and ride off with your scooter. <laughs> but if you have it locked up anyway, there you go. You don't need to worry about people just riding off on your scooter when you go in and get some coffee somewhere. I'm gonna get this thing. It says it's on a full charge already. I'm just gonna whip it around real quick. How do I look? Pretty good? <laughs> That electronic brake is pretty aggressive. That locks up the rear wheel when you're just trying to brake normally, you guys just saw. That was electronic brake. You can tell it engages like halfway through the pole of your brake. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's kind of cool. Overall too, I like, I mean, I like how it looks. It's just like a simple matte black urban city type vibe scooter. Uh, I didn't get the top speed, but we'll do that later when I actually take you guys on a ride with it. First, I'm gonna get it charged up. It says it's already on a full charge. Uh, but I'm gonna get it on a real full charge and then we'll go rip this thing around and you know see how good it is so far for $650 that's a I mean that's a pretty average to cheap price for an adult folding you know full-size scooter uh, especially with larger wheels and 20 mile per hour spec that's really not bad I'm gonna go get it on a full charge and bring you guys back for an actual ride of this thing. Let's go for a ride on the GoTrax G4 scooter. I have the speedometer app pulled up, so we'll see what the actual max speed is right now. All right, let's take it out, see how it does. Initial impression is it's it's decently comfortable to ride, considering it doesn't really have suspension. <laughs> uh, the tires actually, maybe they're just low. I didn't check the tire pressure, but the tires themselves are meatier than most other you know solid core scooter tires, and they really handle vibration well there's almost no vibration at all and it looks like there is cruise control it is set currently but there's like no vibration riding this thing it gives the impression that it has suspension it feels like other scooters that has suspension just because the tires just handle it <laughs> it definitely has electronic braking i can feel it kick in All right, let's now let's give this thing a top speed run. It says we are at 19. It says it goes 20 miles per hour on their website and it looks like it stops there. So it's got to be limited at 20 miles per hour. And we're not getting any faster. It looks like it's blinking and that means cruise control is set. Cool. Yeah, I mean like you can feel bumps when there's big bumps but the vibration normally scooters with no suspension just vibrate like it puts your hand to sleep after a while but there's almost no vibration at all from the road it's just basically the bumps that you feel which is really normal for scooters but to not have any vibration as well is really good so that's great and again this scooter is going for like 650 dollars right now on their website they might even have like black friday deals or something going on too who even knows it's that time of year again prices could increase after this video who knows i can't predict the future but so far overall really not bad really not bad so if we get the specs they say on their website 15 to 25 miles range which i can truly appreciate that they're not way over inflating the number and just saying 25 mile range and then i might hit 15 on it if we're lucky you know so at least they're honest at least somewhat with the specs that they give online so i can i can appreciate that for sure do 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 yeah, not a bad ride so far. Not a bad ride for $650 for a freaking adult size electric scooter. So the route I'm taking is going to be, I guess cruise control is on. I can stop touching the throttle. Oh, freak, that's a lot of gravel. Wow. Wow. Okay. Anyway, the route we're traveling right now is going to take us about six miles or so. Not quite six, maybe like five and a half miles. Um, and so while i probably will not kill this thing completely we will at least get a general estimate of the range on this thing scooters are really not made for commuting long distances so i'm not even going to worry about like the full range test really what i'm concerned about is how fun it is 
you know if it goes a decently good range like if it dies after five and a half miles then not, obviously that matters scooters are really made more for fun and kind of just shooting around town on doing random miscellaneous errands or going to a coffee shop whatever so i'm not even going to really test the entire range top speed is really what matters <laughs> They never found GPS signals, so we'll do it on the way back. How about that? All right, we're back and we are tracking on GPS. All right, let's see what we got. 19.3 miles per hour. So there you have it. 20 mile per hour top speed. So yeah, there you go. That is the GoTrax G4. Yeah, so there you have it. That is the GoTrax G4. So there you go. <laughs> There's not really much more to say on that. Really good so far. I mean, I like the scooter. It's it's nice. It's nice for $650. I, I'm not going to complain a whole lot. Very comfortable. Very fun. You know, decently quick. I'll see you guys when I get home. I know why, so I could have braked. You know, I'm gonna do it again. Just keep filming, just keep filming. That was a little, little. You can see it's a little less than the original yeah. line. So what you wanna do on this scooter. <laughs> you can see the original line. I think you can see the start of the second one. Yeah. I tried to start at the same spot, but it actually stops faster if you don't just mash the brake entirely. Because it, if you do that, it locks up the rear wheel completely because um, it has both electronic braking and mechanical braking on only the rear wheel. The, it doesn't have any braking on the front wheel. Um, <laughs> so if you mash it really hard, it just locks that wheel up completely. Whereas if you don't push it, it, it kind of like skids the tire, which stops you a lot faster. Not a big deal either way. It stops you fine. It's a scooter. Anyway, that's the GoTrax G4. We have currently five miles on the odometer and it's still full charge. I will say when I was driving to the coffee shop and back, I didn't kill it all the way obviously, but when I was driving there and back uh, with voltage sag, it was down. So it was three of four bars at that point. So I would estimate it's roughly at about 75% or so charge after five miles on it, which is really good. Basically times four. So five times four is estimated 20-ish miles per charge, but you do lose a couple miles on the very end of the charge. Um, so I'd say it goes, I would, I would bet it does 18 to 20 miles anywhere between that, which is really good. For a $650 scooter, that is really good. I just reviewed one that was $900 and it went slower than this and it only got like maybe 15 miles per charge. So for this to do more miles per charge, plus go faster than that scooter, plus this one's $250 less than the other one. It's a freaking solid scooter for that price, I think. And I forgot to mention, this has a couple features that I have never personally seen on a scooter before. So you turn it on, you have to input a security code, which is 000 to start. You can change it, the manual tells you how to change it. So I have never seen that on a scooter just integrated on the software yet. And I had never seen the, um, little bike lock which is super cool i i hate carrying these around um i hate carrying bike locks around i just never do i just assume you know i just try to park it somewhere that i can see it wherever i'm at so if somebody tries to take it i just run out there so that's really cool this makes it very practical as a commuter or um just you know leaving it somewhere one thing i do not like about the security system is it's just way too much man like you accidentally touch it and you can't just turn it back off it's not like you can just push the power button so if somebody was like riding this for fun if you like let someone borrow it it would not stop the alarm system until they input the code so i don't know it's kind of i don't know and it just goes off too often. You touch the thing and it starts like beeping like crazy, like you're stealing the thing, but it's like actually yours. And so if you're out in public and that happens, you just get super self-conscious. Like I'm not stealing this guys, stop looking at me. And it is foldable, obviously. I'll just do it really quick for you so you know what it looks like. And it does have like a cool uh, side latch function, which is really sweet. Um, so yeah, there you go. About as heavy as you'd expect for an electric scooter. Easy as that. Anyway, I think for the price, $650, 
Uh, this, I mean, that's on the low end of adult electric scooters. You, you get really cheap ones for like $600. So for this being $650, uh, you know, well built, good performance specs, good top speed, really good range in my opinion for the price. And it's a very functional scooter, plus the added features of the, like the security system and the bike lock. I feel it's a great deal for $650. But yeah, anyway, so for the price, I think this is, I mean, this is a solid scooter for $650. Uh, full size, good specs. I highly recommend it, I really do. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. It does help the channel if you go through that link if you do end up buying it. So that would help me out. But if not, no worries. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.